I'm Davey. I'm awesome. And welcome to the comment corner where you guys make comments on my videos and I respond every week. And in between responding to your comments. A king had too many knights. So he had to let one go. He had to get rid of his surplus. <laughs> okay, before I get started, I gotta unveil one of my Father's Day presents, which you will see behind me soon enough. My oldest son knows how much I love the character of Bert Gummer. Best character in the world. My brother and I held a memorial service when that character died in Tremor Shrieker Island. And as a way to pay tribute to his dad, he made me this. Bert. This is for you. We are your Gummer Bears! That's right, if you're a fan of Bert Gummer, you are a Gummer Bear. And this will soon hang behind me in videos and show the world that we are, in fact, Gummer Bears. Came from a bit my brother and I did, which, stick around, I'll show you that at the end of the video. So now kicking off this week's Comic Corner with last week's Comic Corner, Robot Dad Jokes. Daniel DeLeon69 commented, Hey Davey, why did the restaurant hire a pig? He was good at bacon. <laughs> then my brother Josh the Film Bestie commented, Mmm, burger. <sighs> Talking about one of the commenters. Last name was Burger. Shouldn't be. Then the my brother Josh the Film Bestie commented, my spice name is Jelly Spice. What's yours? Okay, dude, I am secure enough to admit that I am a Spice Girls fan and will always be a Spice Girl fan. I love Spice Girls, but I'm not gonna stoop to giving myself a Spice name. It's awesome, Spice. Then Jay McCool commented, How have you not told this backyard wrestling story yet? Because telling these story videos that I do... I have to find ways to make them funny and relatable to at least a decent sized niche audience. And I have yet to come up with a way that it could be. I am working on it, so stay tuned. Then Jay McCool commented, Wait, Simpsons Road Rage was on PS2. You never got a memory card for PS1? We did. Eventually. That one was the one that took forever to get. The PS2, we bought it knowing we were going to get a memory card soon enough, but for some reason, at least where we were living, PS2s came out, but they didn't have enough memory cards. So it was really a big, huge pain to get a memory card. Because back then, we couldn't really order them. We couldn't reserve them. So basically what we had to do was just, whenever we had the money to get one, we had to call and see if they had one. And then we had to go right down there and buy it. It took us a few months. Then Jay McCool commented, Seriously, the faces you make. What faces? To all the people who said I would never amount to anything because of my procrastination, just you wait. <laughs> then going to, I wouldn't say older, slightly older, the Brothers Not Lovers movie review of Robot Jocks, Ad Sirius commented, Student Gordon at his near best. He has a couple of better ones, but not many. Also, funny thing, I almost got to work with Charles Band in 1994. Funny story. Well, cool that you got to work with Charles Band, but where's the funny story? Then Shalindor commented, As a Battletech fan, I enjoyed it. Well, definitely, if you're into stuff like that, Battletech, Robotech, Gundam, or even live-action things, Pacific Rim, Transformers, this movie's for you. And then Tyler Morgan commented, Both robot paint jobs reminds me Macross and Gunbuster. Well, I don't listen to hip-hop. We don't care if you get it. A rare worn-down pencil owned by William Shakespeare has been unearthed, but they can't tell if it's to be or not to be. <laughs> then on this week's Davies Awesome Stories, Bad Response to I Love You, where I talked about the very annoying ways I like to reply to my wife when she just tells me she loves me. Daniel DeLeon69 commented, So your wife just comes up to you just to say I love you while you were playing a video game? Yes, she tells me she loves me all the time. Isn't that feared? Then my brother Josh the Film Bestie commented, So how much will the child support on top of alimony be? Ho <laughs> very expensive. Then Jay McCool commented, Here are some things to say when she says, I love you. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> 
So does your mom. No! You are the bane of my existence. <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. Uh. Noted. I've already said okay, whatever, and I don't care. I'm not saying the mom one. I'm not. I'm sure that one would get me stabbed. As far as the bane of my existence, I love you, honey. I spent my entire life savings on pasta. It was worth every penny. <laughs> then on my Davies Awesome Wrestling, where I reviewed NXT Battleground, Daniel DeLeon69 commented, Yeah, I kind of agree that NXT Underground match was very disappointing to me. And Kalani Jordan winning the NXT North American Women's title wasn't it for me. Well, I'm glad we agree. Then... My brother Josh commented this. The devil went up to Reno. He was looking for a review to steal. Your review. And if you think that this is battleground, you're wrong. I will show you the true battleground. When I arrive up there next week, when I arrive, I will show you how the ravens chased away the cowardly swallow. Yes. Yes. What the f- Then Jay McCool commented, I totally agree. Stop trying to mix MMA and wrestling. It'd be nice, but, but I'm sure this is not going to be the last underground match. And I'm sure this is not going to be the last way they try to do it. They've been trying to do this ever since UFC became really popular. Then Jamie Cool commented, I know it has nothing to do with this event, but Tony Khan has said he's thinking about bringing in a mixed tag team championship. Thoughts? I really, really hope he doesn't. Not just because, as much as I love AEW, they've got too many championships, but the concept of mixed tag team championships, I've only seen it in Mexico, but either way, it's terrible. It's a dumb idea. Mixed tag team matches, in and of themselves, I'm not big on them. But sometimes they can be somewhat entertaining. But we don't need a championship for that. P please don't do that. Please don't. I applied for a job cleaning mirrors. It's something I can see myself doing. <laughs> then I'm going to these awesome movies, where for Father's Day I reviewed the third in the Stepfather series, Stepfather 3. My brother Josh the film bestie commented... Priscilla Barnes, I love her. I know she would never hurt me. The third nipple might. Then my brother Josh, the film bestie, commented, It's Keith? Dude, spoiler alert! You might be the only person who didn't know that. Then Daniel DeLeon69 commented, That poster looks incredible for a movie like Stepfather 3. Then Jay McCool commented, I watched these movies when I saw your review for the first one. It was okay, but not great. I feel like they should have passed on this one. A lot of people felt that way. And honestly, me, I could go either way on that one. I, I don't care if they passed or if they just continued. It wasn't a necessary movie, but I think it was a fitting end. First thing I do when I get to work is I go hide. Because good employees are hard to find. <coughs> then the final comment this week comes from an older Davies Awesome Movies, one I did over a year ago for McHale's Navy. 77 Pacer commented, Awesome! I actually remember Comedy Central playing this movie on their TV channel back in the early 2000s. However, while I did remember a few segments from the movie, I didn't remember the name of the movie at that point. It would not be until March 22nd, 2024, I saw the movie on TV, that I finally, finally, FINALLY REDISCOVERED THE MOVIE! On May 1st this year, my mother and I saw it for the very first time since the TV airings of the movie that I have ever seen this movie. I remember the initial battle between Mikhail and Vladikov the hospital scene that followed the battle. Vladikov shouting, It's party time! And the boat chase sequence near the end of the movie. Rewatching the movie sparked my memory big time. Well, I'm glad that you got reunited with this movie earlier this year. And I'm glad you love it. But my heart goes out to you that you actually had to go 20 years without watching Mikhail's Navy. How does a cemetery raise their prices and then blame it on the cost of living? 
So before I go, as promised, here's the Gummer Bears clip that you can find in the movie review for Tremors Shrieker Island. What can we say about Bert Gummer? Bert! He was courageous. He was a little kooky. I remember that time we went down to Indian Springs. <laughs> he bought me my first hot dog. <laughs> he told me not to tell anyone. Wait, wait, no, it was someone else. Bert was just a great guy. <laughs> He, Harold and I would hang out for the longest time, just, you know, Where? hanging out with chicks, chocolate bars, talking about graboids and Wonka bars. <laughs> I don't know what else to say except rest in awesomeness, Bert. <laughs> Bert. Bernie will be with you soon. Amazing grace. No. 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 What? What? You must sing the song, the one you wrote for him back in 1990, when his awesomeness first graced the presence of us all. He was no longer Alex P. Keaton's father, but he was Burt Gummer, Bert? and we loved him for it. Sing his song. Sing it. Dashing and daring, courageous and packing, faithful and deadly with stories to share. All through the desert, he rips out their gizzards, bombing along as their guts fill the air. Gobber bears, shooting shriekers here and everywhere. As blasters falling from the air, we are the Gummer Bears. We are the Gummer Bears. Damn you, Burks. Damn you. There you have it. That's Comic Corner this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notifications when I post new videos. And leave a comment of your own to be in next week's Comic Corner. Tell me if you two are a Gummer Bear. Love you, Bert. <laughs>